Hello everyone. Have you seen this error before? I have seen a lot of complaints about this kind of errors on the car in the previous several months. So I will try to explain in this video how you can investigate what exactly is the problem and how most probably you can solve it. So to diagnose what's happening with the car, I will use the OBD11. I'll put a link into the video description. So uh, if you want to use it, you can buy it. The other way is to use some uh, other OBD dongles that you can connect to the car and scan the car to see what errors uh, they have, the car have. So uh, I will use the OBD11. I have already connected it to the car. So let's uh, scan the whole car to see what uh, errors it have till now. It will take a while, so I will just fast forward. So you can see that I have eight errors. Now it's time to clean all the errors. And when this is done, uh, we will need to do another scan. This is done because I, uh, I just want to get rid of all of the information on errors that are uh, accumulated, accum accumulated to the car uh, during the, the drive. And I would like to rescan again to see what exactly is the error. So it will take a while uh, again to scan the, the car. Um, keep in mind something that whenever this error happens, there is not no one to charge the 12 volt battery. So keep uh, the car as little as possible turned on. For the scan, you will need the car to be turned on. So when the scan finish, you can see that I have three errors now. Let's investigate. I will go to all modules. And whenever you see a red circle on the top right corner of the, the module, then there is a, a error in this module. So let's go through each and every error and see what's happening there. So the engine, then I go to faults. And here in valid data received from battery. This is not actually the problem. Uh, so let's go to the other errors. So in the central electric, you can see I have so also errors. Left wall beam head headlamp, boop. No, this is not the problem. Uh, right headlight bump, boop. No, I think this is because I have an LED lamps there. Uh, let's go to the other error. Battery energy module. I think this is the problem because it's most obvious there is something problem in the high voltage battery. So let's see what's happening here. There is an error, high voltage service, disconnect, open. So this is what exactly I did to simulate the problem. I have removed the, the uh, this, energy, this energy fuse from the high voltage battery. Uh, and then the battery cannot uh, start. That's the reason that I have this fault. Let me show you where is this, this uh, fuse. The fuse is connected here on the left side. This is the fuse, it's labeled in some uh, yellow marker. Whenever you remove it, you actually disconnect the high voltage battery from the car. So I have put the fuse here and uh, I think the error will go on very soon. It takes around 40 seconds to car to uh, reset its states. So let me now start the ignition. And you can see that there is no error in my case. The best way actually to uh, attack this problem is to contact the, um, the dealership of the car to see what will be uh, their reaction. Usually to the people that this happens uh, they are sending the car to the factory because it's something happening on the high voltage system and there are lack of specialists about this area uh, in the dealership. So it takes around from three to six, nine months to fix the problem. Uh, if I'm facing this problem, I will try to uh, fix it by myself if I find where is the problem. If I find that it's something in the battery, 
then I will most probably go to the dealership and ask them to fix it. Otherwise, uh, otherwise I will just fix it by myself if I can. Or at least I will point the dealership where uh, I think the problem is because I already scanned the car and so what are the, the problems that I have uh, faced. So this is how uh, I will attack personally this problem. Uh, it is very nasty. I'm hearing that in uh, Italy, the Volkswagen is recording all the car to uh, change something on the BMS because it's giving uh, uh, faults very constantly. That's why they are recording all the cars uh, to change the, the BMS. Uh, but that's it pretty, pretty much how you can uh, face this problem and try to fix it and solve it. I will solve it by myself because I don't want to stay without the car for half a year or a year. Okay, that's it for this very short video. I hope you learned something I personally did. So, see you on the next video.